Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Links, a complete network security and cyber security providers. Well, in this particular video, we'll be discussing about VAPT, that is Vulnerability Assessment and Penetration Testing. This course is provided by Learning Links, and in this course, we have divided the Vulnerability Assessment and Penetration Testing into several modules. So the very first thing what you will be learning over here is the introduction to information security. Well, in introduction to information security, you will be learning about introduction to ethical hacking and you will be learning about what all are the type of attacks, what all are the different types of attackers and moreover you will be learning like how to set up your own lab for practicing and to test various attack the next thing what we will be learning is different penetration testing methodologies so in different penetration testing methodologies so in different penetration methodologies we will be discussing about different type of testings and we will be discussing about uh, various compliance and moreover we will be learning about various frameworks like we will be learning about uh, OWASP that is Open Web Application Security Project and Web Application Security Consortium and Threat Classification so these all things we will be studying like if we are performing any audits or if we are performing anything related to these particular compliances or these particular methodologies what all things we need to take care of other thing which comes up over here is the information gathering so from here we'll be starting up with our ethical hacking part the very first part we'll be dealing is the information gathering like how you can gather the information about your target what are the various techniques used to gather the information such as your active and passive information gathering and you can even use your Google to gather the information and we'll be dealing about certain things such as footprinting what exactly is footprinting and what are different methods of footprinting like web based footprinting add-on based footprinting and there are several sites or there are several tools which are provided online footprint any of our target so we all will be learning over here is so this is all we will be learning in this module now the next thing which comes up is the hiding proxies or the hiding identities using proxies and VPNs so in this we will be learning like different types of proxies what exactly is the difference between the proxy and a VPN and we will be learning about your browser based proxies your CGI proxies that is common gateway interface proxies and different tools and different VPNs also and moreover we will be learning the concept of complete anonymity where we will be using certain proxy chains to hide our identity if we are doing something over the live targets so we will be learning that like how we can be completely anonymous if we are performing the penetration testing now the next thing which comes up is scanning and enumeration so in scanning and enumeration we will be dealing with the basics to advanced level like first of all we will be going with the network basics such as your TCP IP three-way handshake and then we will be going up with the different types of scans which you can perform whenever you are testing any of your target such as your stealth scan, halfway open scan and intense scan and other more things we will be learning with that moreover we will be using certain tools such as HPing to test our policies whatever is set over the firewall we can even test those things digging deep into that we will be learning about the banner grabbing and the other tools such as netcat and moreover certain useful scanners also the next part which comes up is the advanced google hacking here we'll be learning like how exactly the search engine used to work how exactly the google is working 
where it is keeping your data and how you can use certain advanced functions predefined functions which are there on Google how you can do that and how you can fetch out the only the relevant information out of those things so these all things you will be learning in this module like advanced Google hacking now the next thing we will be learning is the system hacking here we will be learning about various things such as your securing the system and logging and bypassing the passwords the credentials the stealing of the passwords creating the backdoor inside your windows environment and these all things we'll be learning and moreover we'll be focusing on how you can protect those things so that is how we'll be doing this thing the next part which comes up is the application password cracking such as various of your application must be having certain passwords like your winrar passwords are there your microsoft office passwords are there your FTP credentials are there your secure shell credentials are there router and switches passwords are there so these all things we'll be learning that how we can bypass how we can crack those passwords the next thing which comes up is the stenography in stenography we'll be dealing with how you can hide your data behind any particular image or behind any particular audio here we'll be dealing with certain cryptography thing and overall we'll be using the stenography like we'll be hiding the data using certain tools and even we are hiding the data using just the command prompt and moreover we'll be using the real time concept like how it is being used in the real time why it is necessary to hide the data behind any particular thing so these are all things we'll be learning over here the next part which comes up is the social engineering attack in social engineering attack we'll be learning different types of social engineering attacks and how to perform like social engineering attack and how you can manipulate certain mindset of the person to fetch out the relevant information out of it so these all things we'll be learning in this particular module the next part which comes up is the network attacks and the security in network attack we'll be learning about dos attack and ddos attack and furthermore so talking about dos and ddos we'll be learning the the exact different between denial of service and distributed denial of service so we'll be seeing certain concept of it we'll be doing up the live practicals of it moreover we'll be learning about the dns and the arc poisoning we'll be poisoning the entire network and we'll be grabbing up the credentials out of those so we'll be learning that and coming up further in this module we'll be learning certain things such as your SSL password capturing like if certain uh, website or certain site or certain web application is secured enough that it is transferring its data using HTTPS then we'll be seeing that how we can grab that data and how we can intercept that and how we can read the credentials or such rele relevant information out of that the next part which comes up is the IDS, IPS and the honeypot. So in intrusion detection and intrusion prevention systems and even the honeypots, we will be learning the installation and the configuration of these things. Moreover, we will be learning about different types of honeypots and implementation of honeypots. So we will be learning those things. Coming up further, we'll be learning about the wireless password cracking. Like you might see that there, there can be various Wi-Fi networks available. Whenever you just connect to any of your legitimate Wi-Fi, you will find that more than one or two networks are available nowadays. So how you can crack that particular passwords and how you can sniff up the air to capture the signal, Wi-Fi signal. And how you can perform various wireless attacks using this and we'll be learning the various security concept of wireless and how we can bypass those security things in wireless so we'll be learning all these things next coming up further about the vulnerability assessment and penetration testing we'll be learning about introduction like 
we'll be learning about the key benefits and the difference like tool based vulnerability assessment and open source vulnerability assessment we'll be doing with this and moreover we are having certain miscellaneous module in this where we'll be learning about various latest framework which are present to bypass even your firewalls also we'll be seeing that we'll be using certain things just like your next pose or your core impact these all thing and moreover we'll be learning about the VoIP, VoIP technology in voice over internet protocol how we can sniff up the packet how we can listen to the talks and how we can do the major thing in the VoIP so these all things we'll be doing with that now the next part or the last part is the reporting now if you have done all this you need to make a report suppose you are working in a corporate and your ta task is to give the to do the proper penetration testing of any of the particular environment or the particular system so after doing the penetration testing you need to provide the report so we'll be learning in this report like what all are the different types of report and how to submit the report so these all things we'll be doing that and even though we will be learning like how you can generate an automated report and even you can schedule for the reporting so these all thing will be learning in the reporting section this all will be covered under our vulnerability assessment and penetration testing course please feel free to contact us anytime if you are interested for any of the courses such as your vulnerability assessment or web application courses you can contact us anytime or even though you are interested in any of the network security part or cyber security part you can feel free to contact us anytime to join the course thank you thanks for watching this video